All right, it's here. We got the remaining clamp. Now, hopefully, they're the right size, and I don't gotta bring them all back. Yes, we're back in the garage, people. Guess what? We came back from Home Depot. There's no kerosene, so we're gonna just put on this suit. That's why I got the suit on. It's not that cold. It's snow on the ground, but it's not that cold. Yes, another glove. So, um, today's episode will be about, yeah, putting on these cooling hoses, and we're gonna get the radiator fan on, and what else would I like to do? I would like to connect the down pipes and um, mount the intercooler. You saw me guys at Advanced Auto. I got ah, four of these clamps. They're suggested for three inches. I'm hoping they're the right size. If not, I'm just gonna end up using the clamps that they gave me. But, um, so we gotta do that. And I'm gonna plug up the ECU and also, what else do I have to do, really? In a cooler, down pipes, um, ECU, radiator hoses, radiator fan, and um, fluids. We gotta do the bleeding procedure. These motors have a special electronic bleeding procedure because it has an electronic water pump. And um, gonna install the battery. We got to do a flash tune with MHD and um, I got to take note of the serial numbers for the fuel injectors because I might have to do some coding and we got to get the fluids in there. Power steering fluid, motor oil, antifreeze. So let's get to work. I'm out. Alright, so right now I took off this coupler that goes to the turbo outlets and I'm trying to trying to put on these T clamps because they supplied me with these NOAA or whatever you call them, these regular hose clamps like this. And I'm trying to put these on, but the store only had three inches and it looks like this is a lot smaller, so I'm gonna try to see if it will be within the range for me to stick this on there. Because one side is bigger, one side is smaller. It looks like we just might make it. I got about an inch left of threads on this thing. You guys can see. So I'm trying to make sure this thing could get tight. So I'm gonna back it off and try to put it on there. So we might, it might work out for us. Okay, man, so I put this three inch clamp here and it ends up, it has some wiggle room in it, so it's too small. So I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna use the one from the VSR F because this one seems a lot smaller. So I'd rather if I have a clamp blow off on me, I'd rather it be up here than down there. So I'm going to swap these clamps. Alright guys, so we wind up going with that. I got the, the smaller VRS, VRSF clamp right there. And then I got this clamp over here. And it's pretty secure. And I put some uh, thread locker on the end of the nut to help with it, um, any vibration. Um, hopefully that holds. I'm gonna try to drop the fan in. The fan basically has two little tabs on each side that slides in, and then there should be a little screw in this corner right here that holds it in place. Um, let's see if this goes in.
All right, so I was having trouble with the radiator fan because I had the coolant hose like this. After looking at the cooling diagram online, the hose actually goes this way. It loops up and then back down. So that was my mistake. So I'm gonna try to redo this again now. See if it works. Okay, so the holes line up. See that, that's what the mistake was. That radiator hose had to wrap around like that. It was kind of tricky. And it's like, man, that thing is tight. And then over here is not too bad. All right, guys, so I'm having a little trouble. I got the, the 3.5 map sensor here and it's supposed to go right in here, but for some reason, the hole is not big enough or the O-ring is too tight, it won't seat down fully. So I got the old charge pipe here, you guys can see. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the, the screws here and compare the two. Compare the two, see, diameter looks pretty much the same. This O-ring is kind of wacky though. So, I don't know, it looks like it's good. This freaking thing won't go inside the hole. I greased it, everything. Wow, I guess you guys just had to watch. I got it in there. So basically, yeah, that's that now. The other problem is they didn't supply hardware to bolt this thing down. Oh, you guys can't see me, huh? All right. So I just came back from AutoZone. I went and bought some hardware. Check this out. So, I got some bolts for this. Um, the size was M4 by 0.7. And then I got some washers. I'm going to use some thread locker and lock this in place. And um, I also got something else. I got one more clamp. And then I found this for the CB7. Now this is a throttle return spring. So I've been having an issue with my idle on the CB7 because the gas pedal has too much play in it. It doesn't kick back all the way where it should. So I'm gonna add a spring on it to help pull the pedal back up. That way I could tune the throttle cable and I shouldn't have that issue anymore. All right, now you guys can see I got it mounted this is not the exact size washer, but it's gonna work. I used thread lock on the, on the bolts, so that way it doesn't vibrate loose, and we should be good. All right, we're getting ready to mount the intercooler, and the kit came with these little studs. You gotta put them inside this plastic part. Screw them in there. It's your self tapping. See, a little baggy, um, two nuts two washers and two studs. So I'm gonna put the other one over there. Well, if you look closely at this little stud, there's a star in the center of it. So you could use a tool to run it up. All right, so I got the T-clamps on the intercooler. I went ahead and greased the fittings. I checked the orientation on the clamps because in case I have to service a car, I don't want it to be difficult in order to take it apart. So right now I'm gonna try to put it up. Okay, YouTubers. So we got the intercool intercooler mounted. It wasn't easy. Um, I'm gonna have to trim this plastic some. Um, I kind of forced it in there because I don't have my Dremel cutoff wheel right now. So when I'll come back and I'll trim that out. But for now it's up there. You see we got the the hoses on and the clamps on. The fan is sitting in the little slot. 
we got another clamp on that side and also I got the exhaust connected um, both of those and I put in this new hanger mount back here yeah those two right there that's connected so I ran into an issue with the wire harness uh, I I used the sedan harness instead of the coupes because there were a lot of like bullshit wirings on it but um I ran into an issue so this main harness over here you have this purple connector and you have this black connector on the other harness you only have this one green connector so I checked all the wires and the colors match they're just split between two connectors so what I'm gonna do is I cut the green connector off of the other harness and I'm gonna wire all the wires that's for another day though and um, what else 